free speech, it seems to me, has never been under more ferocious attack in the West than it is right now. Why is that and what do we do about it? There definitely is an attack on freedom of speech, even freedom to read in the United States. Ron DeSantis is running for president, as he just announced, has imposed regulations, laws in Florida, which make it illegal to teach authentic American history. You have to teach a kind of history which glorifies the United States. Nothing about what actually happened. Uh, this is happening in Republican legislatures around the country. The libraries are being forced to throw out books. There's laws passed to say there are topics you're not allowed to talk about. Well, he would you argue, can't... I mean, DeSantis would argue, I've interviewed him, he would argue that he is focused on things like critical race theory, which he feels is inappropriate for teaching young children. He thinks that gender ideology should not be taught to young children. And it has a lot of support. A lot of Floridians uh, agree with him about this. Critical race theory. What is critical race theory? Does anybody know? Critical race theory is a slogan invented by the right wing. And the person who invented it, Christopher Rufo, has been very open and frank. He says, we just use this as a way to refer to everything we hate. If you want to know what critical race theory actually is, it's a small academic discipline which investigates systematic elements of racism, racism in American education. So they certainly exist. It's never reached the schools. Schools wouldn't even know what it is. This is invented by the right wing, exactly as Rufo stated, to refer to everything we want, we hate and want to destroy, like teaching American history, like uh, teaching gender issues. We hate that, so we'll call it critical race theory. But it's a small academic discipline which no one ever heard of until it was picked up primarily by Rufo, then expanded through the Republican uh, echo chamber to be some major attack well, listen, on... Well, uh, listen, I don't, I, I don't disagree that the right obviously have a lot of issues, the, on the far right in particular. We've seen a rise of white supremacy in America, a rise of far right uh, domestic terrorism and so on. That's completely inarguable. But also we've seen a rise of what I would call a very strange uh, version of liberalism, this very ultra-woke so-called liberalism, which I would liken more to fascism, albeit without the extreme violence, but the mindset of wanting to control how people think, wanting to cancel people for having different opinions, deplatforming speakers you don't like at university, and so on, which to me is the antithesis of what liberalism no. was supposed to be. What do you think of that phenomenon? I've been, as you know, probably very much opposed to the actions of small sectors of young people who are picking up the traditional cancellation, which has been endemic in the academic world and in the uh, political world for years. I can give you examples from my own experience. Cancellation of the left has been constant. Now, small segments of young people are picking up that same improper policy and should be opposed. We should oppose it just as we should have opposed the massive cancellation that has been accepted for decades because it was directed against the left and dissident opinion. So yes, it's wrong.